one-handed backhand volley. Yes, and I Jack explain the two-handed backhand volley. Once you understand the two-handed backhand volley, you can easily transition to the one-handed backhand volley. Jeff and I are gonna go through the checkpoints on the one-handed backhand volley. So you gotta start off in your red right position. You're gonna be on grip power number three. Your left hand index finger is gonna be on the strings of the racket. Your racket is going to be at a 45 degree angle. Your elbows are going to be out and away from your body and you're going to have you in both ways. Then you're going to turn. Three things happen when you see the ball coming. You change your grip to the right side of one, you straighten up your arm and you turn your shoulders. Make sure you have your arm relatively straight and not, and not locked. You need to be relaxed. Your racket is going to face like a wall to the wall. Then you're going to step and hit at the same time. All your weight is going to be on your front foot. Your body is going to be at a 90 degree angle. Your eyes are going to be on the hip and you're going to be up on your back toe. Now we're going to toss some balls. So Jacob's going to start in his rear position. He's going to turn. His lower body and upper body at turn as one. His racket is facing like a ball to the ball. He's going to step and hit at the same time. As you can see, his eyes is on the hip. One more. Ready position. Turn. Racket facing like a wall to the ball. As you can see, he has a U in the wrist, his eyes is on the hip, his body is at a 90 degree angle, all his weight is on his front foot, he's up on his back toe, and his hands is forming a straight line. Now we're going to switch. Okay, now Gabby's going to have a ready position. Her index finger is on the string. She's going to turn. Her lower body and upper body are turned as one. She pushes the ball forward. Her body is a linear swing. She's going to have a ready position once again. Grip three with the right hand. She's going to straighten up her arm. Grip right side of one. Her body's at a 90 degree angle. And that's the picture of the one-handed backhand body. Now we're going to move on to the one-handed backhand ground stroke. JP and I are going to go through the checkpoints on the one-handed backhand ground stroke. You're going to start off in your same ready position with your left hand index finger on the strings of the racket. Then you're going to turn. The, the same three things happen. The same three things are going to happen. Then you're going to turn further than your one-handed back and body. You're going to get your racket on edge. It's going to look like you're getting your arm inside your body. Your left arm is going to be higher than your right arm. You're going to be up on your back toe. Then you're going to sit in your imaginary chair. You're going to have a three-point landing. Racket goes down, body goes down as the foot steps out. You're going to tap the shoe on the tip. Then you're going to lift up. Your racket is going to be vertical at the hip. You're going to lift before contact. Your body is going to be at a 90-degree angle. Then you're going to go up a flight of stairs and you're going to have 88 early on, but body at a 90 degree angle and your hands are going to fall in the line and you're going to be up on your back toe. Now we're going to hit off the cone. So you're going to put the cherry on the ice cream cone. Remember to always make your letter out. So you're going to start off in your same ready position with your left hand index finger on the strings of the racket. Then you're going to turn. The same three things is going to happen. You're going to turn further than your body. You're going to get your racket on edge. Your arm is going to be relatively straight. You, you got, your left elbow is going to be up. Then you're going to sit in your imaginary chair. You're going to tap the shoe on its head. Then you're going to tap the cherry off the ice cream cone, wrap it vertical at the heat. You're going to have 88 in the armpit, body at a 90 degree angle. Now we're going to do it again, but now we're going to do it with a two part swing. You're going to make your letter L. You're going to have your same ready position. You're going to turn. This is your first part. You tap the cherry off the ice cream cone, and that would be your second part. Now we're going to toss some balls. First, we're going to toss two balls with, without movement and then with movement. So JP has a ready position. He's going to turn. He's going to turn further than his one hand and back and body. He's got to sit in the chair and his left arm. As you can see, he has 88 in the armpit. Now we're going to do one more. Ready position. Turn. Turn further. Racket on edge. Sit in the chair and lift up. As you can see, his body is at a 90 degree angle. Now we're going to do two with movement. So he's going to have small adjustment steps and he's going to lift up. As you can see, his eyes is on the heat. One more. Very position. Small adjustment steps. As you can see, he has 88 in the armpit. His eyes on the hip. His body's at a 90 degree angle. His arms is forming a straight line. All his weight is on his front foot and he's up on his back toe. Now we're going to switch. Yeah, 
Gabby has a ready position. Her right hand's grip on her right hand is grip number three. She's gonna turn. Her lower body and upper body are turned as one. Keep sitting in the chair, lift up, up and swing for a downward spin. Gonna go back in a ready position. Left hand in this finger on the street. She's gonna turn. Her grip's on the right side of one. Her her left elbow is higher than her right elbow. She had ATA Eddy armpit. Ready position, feet facing straight forward. She's going to start small adjustment steps and she's going to let the athlete out, up on her back toe. She's going to go up, cross, cross over and shuffle. She has a ready position. She's going to move. She let the athlete out, body is at a 90 degree angle, hand to hand forms a line. And that's the picture of the one handed back and ground strip. Now we're going to move on to the one handed back and underspin. We stay away from the word slice because people think they need to chip and chop. And chip is for a party and a chop is for a bride. Let me show you a picture of the one handed back and underspin. You're going to have the same ready position with your left hand in its finger on the strings of the racket. Then you're going to turn, you're going to turn further. The same three things are going to happen. You're going to tilt your racket. Your racket is going to be slightly open. Your left arm is still going to, elbow is still going to be up. Then you're going to go slightly down. You're not going to sit in your imaginary chair. You're going to go ear, chin, ear. Your body is still at a 90 degree angle. If you put another racket against it, it can form an archway. All your weight is on your front foot, your eyes are on the heat, and you are up on your back toe. Now, JP is going to drop it ball. Before you drop it, I just want to explain how you toss the ball. When you toss your ball, when you drop it, you're going to toss the ball differently. You're going to toss your ball underhand. You're going to toss, catch, separate, hit, and hold. Now, JP is going to drop your balls. Start off in his ready position. He's going to turn. He's going to turn further. He's going to turn more than sideways so that he can stay sideways. So when you hit your back and underspin, you want backspin on your ball. One more. Could he breathe? So now he's going to be comfortable when he's breathing. As you can see, his body is always at a 90 degree angle. You do not want to sneak a peek. Now we're going to toss some balls. Ready position. Turn. Turn further. As you can see, his body is at a 90 degree angle. Ready position. Turn. Turn further than your body. Stay more than sideways. Turn more than sideways so that you can stay sideways. As you can see, his eyes is on the heat. Now we're going to do two with movement. Ready position. And a small adjustment to this. It's good that he's letting the athlete out and his eyes is on the heat and he's racking and he has you in his wrist. Okay, one more with movement. Yes. As you can see, he's his hand is forming a straight line, his eyes are on the heat, his body is at a 90 degree angle, he lifted before contact, and he's up on his back toe. Now we're going to switch. Okay, Gabby has a ready position, her feet facing straight forward, she's going to turn, she's going to turn further, turn more than sideways to stay sideways, her left elbow is up. <laughs> The racket is still on the same side of the body. If you put another racket against this racket like this, it will create a racket archway. The racket is 45 degree angle, so she's going to turn. Lower body and upper body are turned as one. Her arms relatively straight. <coughs> she drove the ball, she didn't scoop it. Now we're going to do two wrist movements. Going to have a ready position, left elbow a little bit higher than the right elbow. It's going to have small adjustment steps. Her arm was tilted, but she didn't let her left elbow fall. Her left palm was down on the finish. Her body's at a 90 degree angle and she's up on her back toe. And that's the picture of the one-handed back and underspin.